What's going on YouTube? My name's Will and in today's video I've got another Alphalete based video for your faces. They just keep launching things, I can't help it. So this was my gym bag, it was from Primark back in the day. It's done me a good like two or three years. This Velcro's kind of naff at this point but like it did the job. That's the current gym bag but today this contains the new. So let's get it. First of all, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you click that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell so you're getting notified every single time I upload. Been trying to get back onto YouTube recently, so let's keep the hype going. Let's keep the subs moving uh, to motivate me to make some more content for your faces. And if you haven't done so already, click the link in the description, go over to my vlog channel and subscribe over there as well. There's going to be some madness going down on there pretty soon. However, today's video, we're talking about the fact that Alpha Elite have finally released some new backpacks. I think it's like a year on since they released their last one and I missed that one and I was gutted. So I made sure I was on the website to pick this bad boy up. I also picked up the the other Voyager bag, the slightly smaller one, the crossbody. So we're gonna check that out as well. But first things first, the backpack. Right, so decent size. Let me get this bad boy unwrapped. Yo. So We've got the Alphalete tag here, which is rubberized. And I believe that the, this material on the outside is water repellent as well. And you've got like different compartments and stuff. This is a magnetic clip here, by the way, on the front. It's got like a little pin thing. You can get that in there. It feels really, really nice quality. You've got two net drinks holders on the side. You've also got a zip pocket at the top that looks like it's just big enough to fit like a passport and like your stuff going for an airport which is pretty sick because that's probably what I would use this bag for if not like obviously a gym bag but your carry handle on the top there on the back you can see that Alphalete is embossed in the back padding which is pretty cool uh, they claim that this has lumbar support um, and it actually feels like it does it feels like it's got like a really nice foam to it same with the shoulder straps. They've got a nice amount of padding. Let's open this up and see how much space we have on the inside. Okay, decent amount to be fair. It's got some grip pads on the bottom. If you put it down anywhere, like it shouldn't move or anything like that, but that's how, how wide it is. I will find out the dimensions for you and I'll put them on screen now. So check those out just for reference as to actually how big this is if you wanna like measure it out yourself. On the front, again, got another zip pocket here which is big enough for like an iPad or something like that which goes all the way down to the bottom which is pretty cool on the inside we've got a zip kind of net pocket at the top here which again big enough for like passport keys phone wallet that sort of stuff you've also got another kind of net which goes all the way down to the bottom. It's like, it's not zip or anything, it's just the same as the drinks holders on the side, it's just a net you can put stuff in that's pretty cool. And that's about it for the inside, to be honest. And guys, I've just discovered this pocket, which is actually at the back, which if you undo this, which is incredibly hard to do one-handed, there's actually another pocket inside here which is mad which is like the perfect size for my macbook so that's obviously like a laptop holder which is sick let's put it on and see how we feel about this adjust that there yeah it doesn't feel too bad it kind of sits quite nicely on the shoulders obviously once it's got a bit of weight in it it'll sit a bit better but that's kind of what it looks like on the back which is pretty sick I'm actually really hyped for this because like I've wanted a new gym bag for so long and I've wanted an Alphalete one and like I said I missed the last launch which is all the way back last year so really really hyped on the backpack. I mean for the price tag if it is water repellent 
then that's pretty cool. Um, I, you know, it's a bit pricey. I'll put the price on screen, but I mean, I'm happy with it. I'd pay that again for it. I'd, I'm happy to pay and like the money that Alphalete asked just because I know that because it's Alphalete, I can trust that it's going to be a good, decent product. Feel free to roast me in the comments if you disagree, because I'm sure many people have opinions about everything. So go ahead and comment why I'm wrong. But there you go. I love Alphalete stuff. That's just me. Right now, the crossbody. Let's get into this then. Okay. Outdoor, right. Again, I think this is uh, water repellent. Correct me if I'm wrong. However, we shall see. I will put the dimensions for this and the capacity for it on screen now. Obviously, this is meant to be smaller. I have a bag that I use at the moment. Bear with me. I have this Supreme bag that I use at the moment for going through airports. Um, and I, that's literally all I use it for is when I go on holiday so that I don't have to be like rifling through my bag that I'm taking on the plane with me to find like my passport or my wallet or my phone or anything like that. I just stick it in this and wear this as well so I can like access that stuff easily so this is probably going to replace that because it is a little bit larger you've got their alpha leak tag on the front as you can see same kind of raised rubber type deal as before uh little pocket on the front probably put change or something in there then this actual whole front bit is a pocket in itself which is a little bit larger you might be able to fit like you probably could fit a passport in there or your wallet or your phone or whatever and then the main pocket on the back like at the top of it looks like this inside you've got another another one of the net uh, pockets to like to just separate stuff out with and that's about all that's in there to be honest it feels like a really decent quality product the padding on on the inside of here is decent as well I like the Learn More, Dream More, Be More on the, on the strap there. That's pretty cool. That's kind of like a rubberized kind of vinyl print on there. That's pretty sick. Um, it's just a standard kind of clip type deal with the clasp. I'm going to undo this a little bit because I wouldn't wear it around my waist. I'd wear it like around my body. So we're going to see how that goes you can wear this in many different ways as they kind of like showed before the release but i'd probably wear it like crossbody like this which is actually not that bad like it's bigger than like what it looks in photos um but it actually curves really nice like there's no there's not like a massive gap here it curves really nice with like it sits on your body pretty well so you could like wear it at the front or you could switch it around wear it at the back or if you really wanted you could put it around your waist like the ultimate tourist and wear it as a fanny pack which, funnily enough, is the first thing my girlfriend said to me when I told her that I'd bought it. Was this, She was like, oh, no, you've not bought a fanny pack. I was like, it's not a fanny pack. I mean, it looks like one, in all honesty. It does look like one. But I'd never wear it like that. I'd wear it crossbody, so I don't really see how, to me, it's it's not a fanny pack. Like, that's not what I'm going to use it for. Americans will probably disagree with me. But I don't really care. This is going to be really, really helpful for going through the airport for me. And um, when you're out on holidays and stuff, all you really want to carry with you is like your phone, your wallet and your room key. And like, that's about it, really. Maybe a bit of change, stuff like that. So this is going to be dead handy for me. Um, I'll put the price up on screen now. This actually not too bad for the price. It feels like a little bit plasticky. But again, I feel like that's because of the, the water resistance of it, which is pretty good. So overall, I'm really, really happy with them. If you guys want to know anything else about them, like drop me like a comment or something uh, about your question. And I will be doing like a review video of these after I've used them for a while just to see how like kind of how they stand up to like daily use, wear and tear, stuff like that. What you can get in them, what works, what doesn't. So make sure you subscribe for that video if you do want to know like 
actually how good the bags are. If you did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you drop a like on it. It really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.